So it's about keeping the spirit of Christmas alive 365 days a year. The Hallmark Christmas movie is a bona fide modern cable TV phenomenon. These films drew a whopping 85 million viewers in 2018 and air 24 7 on the Hallmark Channel starting even before Halloween. And that's the story of the Merry and Bright Candy Cane Company. As both your tour guide and CEO of the company, who wants a candy cane? You might have seen the Hallmark Christmas movie formula recently parodied on SNL. Well, that's right. The true reason for Christmas is husband. Hello, I'm Prince Simon of Caucasia. Or you might have read about the Hallmark Channel that airs these movies, as this conservative-leaning network, which aspires to be non-divisive, seems to have a knack for attracting controversy. So what is the Hallmark Christmas movie craze all about? You always make Christmas awesome. Here's our guide to the trademarks of this unique format and why it's become such a potent and complicated cultural obsession. When I was a kid, I imagined a place like this. And you found it. I did. This video is brought to you by Skillshare, a learning platform that offers thousands of online classes to fuel your creativity and career. Right now, Skillshare is offering our viewers two months access to all their classes for free. So click the link in the description below to sign up now. You know you're watching a Hallmark Christmas movie if... The world is idealized and only interested in Christmas. In the world of Hallmark Christmas movies, the only thing that matters is the Christmas season. Yeah, my mom goes all out. I mean, getting ready for Christmas is half the fun. In reality, the holiday season unfolds as we juggle end of year work responsibilities and a packed social calendar. But politics, pop culture, sports, the news cycle, none of these things exist in the Hallmark Christmas movie world, much less cause stress. White fluffy snow is everywhere, the halls are decked with every Christmas decoration imaginable, and the films take place in idyllic small towns with whimsical names such as Angel Falls or Evergreen. And that is how Grand Falls got our nickname, Christmas Town. At its core, the Hallmark Christmas movie is aspirational. I mean, this could turn out to be better than both of us ever hoped. The Hallmark Christmas movie echoes and preserves the joy and innocence many of us felt as starry-eyed children celebrating Christmas. I love the holidays. Just talking about it gets me feeling like a kid on Christmas morning. And you know, I'm like a little kid on Christmas morning. The Hallmark movie world is a way to become that kid again, to feel reassured that the spirit of the season is alive and well. It has the Hallmark Christmas movie plot. A woman facing relatable stressors, problems with her job, heading to her hometown to celebrate the holidays, being single around the holidays, eventually finds a picture-perfect romance. I don't know what I'm thinking. But I'm the jerk who wanted to kiss you when I'm meant to be getting married. So you do know what I'm thinking. There's some variation, but the most popular Hallmark Christmas movies boil down to a spin on this formula. I don't think anything can make us more romantic. I can think of something. Given the sheer number of these movies that Hallmark creates, it's no surprise they're sometimes criticized for plagiarizing their own previous plots. Multiple films find people hiring a fake boyfriend or girlfriend to save face during the holidays. What do I search under? <laughs> Freelance fake girlfriends? And then romance blossoms between the two. Several movies feature a benevolent Santa-like figure who serves as a matchmaker. Did you ask for something special? I asked for true love. Works of great literature also get the hallmark treatment. Past movies have put a modern spin on A Christmas Carol or Cinderella's Rags to Riches story. What a warm greeting. Yes, tragically, it's not for you. Uh, the service entrance, please, Thomas. Familiarity gives these films a distinct emotional advantage. Part of the hallmark Christmas movie appeal is that it's reliable. Academic Robert Thompson notes, no matter what the state of the economy, no matter what the state of chaos or stability, there is an extraordinary appetite for simple, cheesy, unsophisticated, easy-to-watch programming. Compared to everything you imagined? Mm -hmm. Of course, a simple plot doesn't have to mean predictable. Besides, it's Christmas Eve, right? And anything can happen. The Hallmark Christmas movie is full of surprises. One blessed shepherd will bring a flock together. Terry Polo stars in The Christmas Shepherd. Expect some curveballs that require suspension of disbelief. 
A woman might discover her boyfriend is part of a royal family. Are you married? Uh, no, no, I'm a prince. Or sparks could fly between two friends thanks to a plot line involving adorable cats. Hey, it's you. They might be lost. The film might judiciously employ magical realism. Why did you draw Carrie as an angel? Because she is an angel, Dad. In one movie, a guardian angel named Gabby falls for a handsome human, which is apparently against the rules. Every time I see that look, I wonder what that feels like to fall in love. Another memorable film finds Kris Kringle hauled into court by an entitled adult who's still mad he didn't receive everything on his Christmas list. And I am here because somebody is suing me. And in many of these movies, Santa Claus, or at least a jolly bearded man who looks suspiciously like Saint Nick, lives among us as a mere mortal. The 2010 film Cancel Christmas, for example, has a Christmas board of directors that threatens to nix the holidays unless Santa, played by Judd Nelson of The Breakfast Club, convinces a trio of children to give up their selfish ways. You see familiar faces. Lacey Chabert is the undisputed Hallmark movie queen. As of 2019, the Mean Girls actress has been in a whopping 17 films for the channel. She showed off her acting range by portraying a variety of characters. A timid woman who's emboldened thanks to Santa Claus. I think I would wish to have courage for a change. Or a pastry chef who reconnects with an ex after borrowing his oven to try and win a gingerbread bake-off. I have to win this contest if I'm going to start my cake business. Paul Green, a Canadian actor known mostly for his guest starring roles on various TV shows, has found his niche in multiple movies playing a handsome, kind crush object. Is everything okay? And for 80s and 90s sitcom actresses especially, Hallmark Christmas movies have provided a serious career boost. Full House's DJ Tanner, Candace Cameron Bure, reliably stars in a film a year. She's played a Grinch-like resort developer. Besides us, Bex, we're never big on Christmas anyway. Who learns to embrace the holiday. Just never imagined there could be so much magic in Christmas. Or a harried traveler whose love life is thrown a curveball due to travel woes. Jack, I'm sorry. I can't do this. It just doesn't feel right anymore. Danica McKellar, AKA the Wonder Years brainy romantic lead Winnie Cooper, has also become a Hallmark favorite. In Crown for Christmas, she starred as a nanny who inadvertently falls for a king who's set to marry someone else. What's she doing? She's a governess. Not tonight. There's something comforting about seeing beloved actors we grew up with appearing in holiday movies. Like when Dean Cain, who portrayed hunky Clark Kent in the 90s romantic drama Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, plays a lawyer repping Santa. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been practicing for two years. As Hallmark Christmas films have grown in popularity, the caliber of celebrities appearing in films has skyrocketed. The queen of Christmas herself, Mariah Carey, starred in and directed A Christmas Melody, playing a snobby PTA president who gets competitive over a Christmas pageant. That's my little superstar. Now get out there and kill it for mommy. In 2019, Broadway Wicked star Kristen Chenoweth led a movie in which she portrays a choir director who discovers a potential genius talent. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. While Dolly Parton and Danica McKellar star in the sparkling love story Christmas at Dollywood. You can have what you want if you believe you can have it. Words to live by. It brings people together. Every premiere has its own Twitter hashtag, and there are multiple Facebook groups devoted to dissecting and sharing the love for these films. There's even a Christmas con. Call it a more festive version of Comic-Con. It feels like a throwback. Hallmark Christmas movies call back to the 70s and 80s, when TV movies were must-watches due to who acted in them. Linda Carter in a world premiere movie, Born to be Sold. Mariah Carey and Hallmark Channel come together for a special holiday movie event. Today's your lucky day. But even more than that, they're nods to the chaste fair found on TV in the 50s and 60s. Saccharine, if not somewhat sanitized content with a feel-good message that's family-centric and conservative-leaning. The Hallmark Channel occasionally finds itself mired in controversy, despite explicitly asserting that it's trying not to be political. After the group One Million Moms recently protested a commercial featuring two brides kissing, Hallmark angered the LGBTQ community and allies by pulling the ads before apologizing and reinstating the commercials. Their statement initially defending their decision to pull the Zola ads read, 
The Hallmark brand is never going to be divisive. We don't want to generate controversy. We've tried very hard to stay out of it. Ironically, staying out of it is a political stance, and the Hallmark Channel repeatedly attracts criticism by trying to preserve its wholesome reputation through avoiding anything potentially controversial. In recent years, it's been pointed out that their movies lack same-sex couples and ethnic diversity. I'm Emily Kringle for Hallmark, reminding you to stay straight out there. Executives at the channel say that they are making moves to address the imbalance. In terms of broadening out the demographic, it's again, it's something we're always thinking about, always considering. To date, however, Hallmark's moves toward inclusivity have been hit or miss. Although Holly Robinson Pete, who is black, has become an integral part of Hallmark programming, two 2019 films referencing Hanukkah were criticized for reinforcing negative stereotypes. On a more positive note, women's experiences are consistently centered and honored. Women are at the center of every storyline, and they aren't shamed for their career choices or romantic moves. I mean, when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Viewers can see themselves in the lead female characters who tend to be resilient and ambitious, despite having some everyday bumps in the road. And this draws a big female audience. The Hallmark Channel was the highest rated and most watched network on ad-supported cable television for women between the ages of 25 and 54 during the last three months of the year in both 2017 and 2018. It has a happy and chaste ending. Hallmark Christmas movies are guaranteed to deliver warm and fuzzy conclusions. Do you know where a lady can grab a decent Christmas dinner around here? Maybe, but it'll cost you. How much? Just one little kiss. And these endings are firmly and decidedly PG-rated, largely comprising an embrace and a passionate kiss. Now, Lauren, whoever you pick will join you in the Hallmark Gazebo Suite, where you will share a single dry kiss. At the end of the day, these films offer exactly the ending fans came for, each and every time. If only our regular world could be so dependable. Are we soulmates? I don't know. But if you're willing to take a chance, I'd love to find out. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community we love, with thousands of classes taught by seasoned pros. With Skillshare, you can hone your creativity through a class on street photography, creative nonfiction writing, or character animation. You can learn to succeed in business with classes on how to build your Instagram following, create viral content, or manage your finances. You can master new technology through classes on website design and coding basics. You can even add some flavor to your lifestyle by learning to brew your own beer or bake your own bread. Or you can let graphic designer George Bahua teach you how to create a modern, minimalistic logo from start to finish. Right now, Skillshare is offering our viewers two months access to all their classes for free. Just click the link in the description below to check it out today.